the BBC has announced that the uh, rise in the the expected rise in the TV license fee is going to be less than was anticipated and less than it hoped for, and that it will now leave a funding gap of around ninety million pounds. The license fee will rise from one hundred and fifty nine pounds to um, to one hundred sixty nine one hundred sixty nine pounds fifty. Uh, a rise of 6.6% rather than the uh, rather than the amount which had been anticipated. Well, of course, the BBC could always go cap in hand to Baroness Moon, who I'm sure would help out, and that would at least squeeze some of the budget. Uh, she could she could pay what 60 million, I think, isn't that the amount that uh, that, that that she is alleged to have pocketed, and and I'm sure she puts the nation before her own interests and before the size of her uh, magnificent yacht. So, um, yeah, they could offer her her a job, couldn't they? They could give her a job that she could do for nothing. That would, that would, that would cut the, um, that would cut, cut the costs down a little. And the BBC had expected us all to be paying an extra £15, 9%, uh, based on the average rate of inflation over the past 12 months. And the Culture Secretary, uh, Lucy Fraser, of course, um, this seems to be the only job that she's taken seriously in her brief. Uh, She's determined to trim the BBC down. But, I mean, you know, that said, that said, when the BBC is cutting back on so many of its uh, services, is it worth £160-odd pounds a year? Um, for what it provides, surely you can get Netflix for less. Uh, surely you can you can you can subscribe to the Disney Channel for less. I'm not saying these channels offer a service anywhere near like the service of the BBC. The BBC offers a very good service, and uh, and we shouldn't just look at the stuff on the television box. We should look at the stuff on the radio. We should look at the um, world service. And ideally, we should also look at the local services. But I'm afraid the consistency isn't there. And the BBC is also struggling with a top-heavy bureaucratic admin. And I don't quite understand why it needs to have this elevated chairman or chair that has now finally been replaced. It's done very well, hasn't it, for the last six months without a residing chairman. It doesn't need one. That would save 90, 90 odd uh, million pounds, wouldn't it? Or, or something. It would, it would, it would certainly cut, cut, cut seriously. A bit of that and a bit of Baroness Moon would go a long way to sorting out the, um, uh, the, the budget requirements for the BBC. There, solved it in two minutes.